Hi everyone, this is Random Inji, and I'm going to show you how I farm Inferno Act 3 with zombie bears. It's a really fun build that uh, rewards aggressive play with really fast elite kills, and uh, I think it's basically the best way to farm uh, Act 3 Inferno for Paragon XP or for loot or for anything. Well, I'll start off with the skills. First, of course, you want zombie bears from the zombie charger skill. It just does really, really great damage, uh, crazy high damage, more than any other uh, skill uh, that the witch doctors have. Uh, it says 233% damage, but it ends up being a lot more since uh, you can get multiple bear hits uh, on every cast. Uh, next off, you want a signature spell to sort of complement it, something that you can use when you can't get in really close to range because your uh, spirit walks on cooldown, there's a lot of desecrator uh, or plagued or something around, and you just want something to plink, plink away and spam or anything. Uh, third is Gargantuan. This is pretty much, you gotta have this. He's a great tank after the patch, uh, 104. And I like to get the one where he just gets pissed off when he sees elites or treasure goblins because it's hilarious and it seems pretty great. A Soul Harvest is another great one, uh, it just increases your intelligence for a while, um, and it just increases your DPS, and that's always awesome. And I like to take Soul to Waste, that gives you uh, 60 seconds uh, duration on your stacks, just because it's kind of annoying having to recast it all the time. Uh, and you don't always have five enemies around when you're fighting an elite, and it just like, makes everything go a little bit smoother. Um, I also like to use at least a spirit walk, of course, so basically every witch doctor should have this. It's just great for escape. Um, it's great for dealing damage while, uh, while against reflect damage without taking damage back, uh, and just getting from place to place, and pretty much awesome. I like to take Jaunt because it changes the duration from 2 to 3 seconds, which is pretty huge, uh, given that the best thing about spirit walk, in my opinion, is that you're completely invulnerable while using it and 50% more vulnerability is pretty great. Um, also here I'm using Horrify with a Stalker Room basically just for the movement speed boost. It helps me get from pack to pack quicker, uh, but this is pretty much a luxury skill slot. You can run zombie dogs here instead if you just want a little bit more tanking. Uh, for passives, uh, I like to use Jungle Fortitude. Uh, you might not need it if you've got enough uh, survivability from your gear. Uh, Grave Injustice I really like because in this build you are spirit walking to the middle of a pack and killing them way up close uh, fairly frequently. And getting your spirit walk back and getting your horrify back is just makes things a lot faster, uh, makes you a little bit tougher because you've got the spirit walk escape more often. Vision Quest is good because bears take a lot of mana and Vision Quest gets you mana. Uh, although if you have enough uh, regen, rune, regen on your gear already, uh, like if you have Zunimasa's set, uh, you might not need this. Uh, another good option is uh, Spirit Vessel. Boost cooldowns on your Spirit Walk and Horrify and give you a little get out of jail free card or gruesome feast to give you even more intelligence to increase your DPS even more. Alright, now let's see some elite fights. What I'd like to do here is just Spirit Walk up to them, get your Soul Harvest if you don't have stacks already, and just spam the crap out of bears. It's best to spam bears when you're right next to them because you guarantee the most hits and so you can get the most uh, damage out of your mana. Uh, after it's worn off, make sure you get out of there, let your gargantuan tank, and take some pot shots with uh, whatever signature spell you have or some uh, more bears if the opportunity arises. And as you can see with this build, you can pretty much flatten some elite packs in a few seconds, which is quite nice. I've got about 74k damage here, but you can really do Act 3 with uh, 40k damage. Bears are just that good. Reflect packs are probably going to be your biggest problem uh, fighting this build, just because of the sheer amount of damage you do. You can work around this by doing most of your damage on your Spirit Walk. That's why the Jaunt Rune is helpful, because it gives you a bigger window in which to deal damage. Uh, pick up health globes when you can, which is good because uh, you're doing so much damage that you usually get a health globe pretty quick. Actually on this build I don't have any lifesteal or life on hit or anything else. I've just got one item that gives me 4k health on health globes. Uh, that seems to work pretty fine. And it allows you to really focus on damage when you're getting your weapon. On one last little side note, you see that little fire demon that's tagging along with me. That's because I gave my enchantress follower the Maximus Legendary, which is pretty nice because as a witch doctor you just want to have the most hilarious things happening at once, and that helps you out. Anyway, that's it for my commentary. I'm just going to leave you guys with some more fun elite fights. Thanks for watching.
You will not make me bow to the likes of you. You are evil and does you. Need not kill me. Oh! <laughs> 